About a month ago, the greatly anticipated cookie law came into effect, designed to save us all from the rampaging threat of cookies invading our internet privacy and or eating our defenceless babies. It's been a while and we're ready to emerge from our secure bunkers and see what's still left of the internet. Our study found 95% of UK sites have done nothing whatsoever. Better still, 76% of sites that aim to be compliant have merely added a tiny cookie link like this. Generally, these sites link to a colossal technical document and give the user no control over their privacy whatsoever. Thanks to the last minute U-turn, sorry, clarification, of the law 24 hours before it came into effect, the few sites that probably are compliant still set cookies. However, at least they tell you about it while they do so. Truly, we live in a brave new world. Should anyone wish to complain about a site in the UK, the governing body has thoughtfully employed a drunken monkey with a PhD in pissing off users to design a complaints form. Ten pages long, the form asks questions like the name and expiry of any cookies used and expects the general public to suffer through this to address their confusion. It's kind of like a waiter asking someone if they enjoyed their meal, but only accepting ten page written answers that include questions about the customer's blood type and bowel movements. So I'm ready to call it now. The cookie law is doomed to die. For the most part, it will be ignored or not used properly, those who comply will suffer unjustly and no one will complain because they don't care enough to fill in a 10 page form. Moral of the story. Politicians, please keep your mitts off our internet. If you must interfere, consider consulting an 8 year old child first. At least they know how to use it. I'm Oliver from Silk Tide. Let me know what you think about the cookie law below and subscribe for more videos like this one.